Hey, love bugs. I know you're probably saying like, wait a second, we already did calendar today, but we're going to be doing math. It's just that I'm going to flip it around a little bit, our calendar paper, so that we can do some math, okay? So here's what I want to show you. We're going to practice some of our shapes today. And to do that, we're going to use our calendar and foundations paper like a whiteboard. So I'm going to slide April out, and then my paper just looks like a regular whiteboard. What I want to do is we're going to play a little game. I'm going to say a shape, and I want you to draw that shape. Okay, we're going to do our 2D shapes. So when I say this shape, I want you to pause right after I say it. Okay, so if I say square, I'm going to say pause, and I want you to pause your screen, draw me a square, and then you're going to compare it with mine to see if you drew the same shape as me. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Ready? The first shape I want you to draw is a circle. All right, pause. Does yours look like mine? Cool, maybe yours is bigger, maybe yours is smaller, but a circle is round, right? And we don't have any straight sides on a circle. A circle has all curved sides. Very good, love bugs, erase your board. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna say the name of the shape and then I'm gonna say pause. You're gonna pause your screen and draw it and then you're gonna unpause and see if you match me. Ready, set, go. Square, pause. Okay, love bugs, does yours look similar to mine? Now a square has four straight sides four corners or vertices as we learned. And you have to make sure that every side is the same size. Every side is equal. Can you do that for yours? Good job. Once you really know that you made a square, you can erase your board. And I'm gonna say another name of a shape and then you're gonna pause when I say pause and you're gonna go and draw it, okay? Ready, set, triangle, pause. Now, love bugs, the cool thing about a triangle is you might have made a skinny triangle like this. Maybe you made a triangle like that. Triangles can be all different shapes. Maybe you made one that goes like this way. The one thing you have to make sure of with triangles is that you have three straight sides that come to points or vertices, okay? And all of those sides connect. Very good. Now we're going to erase our board and we have one more shape left to draw, okay? Are you ready? Me too. Okay, I want you to draw a rectangle. Pause. Now, love bugs, a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. Now, you might have made a tall one like this or a sideways one. Either is okay, but you wanna make sure, look, I have two short sides, two sides are longer. That's how we could tell the difference between a rectangle and a square. They do have four straight sides and they do have four corners or vertices as we call them. Very good, love bugs. Now, the next thing you could do is think back to those shapes that I told you about. We did a square, we did a circle, we did a triangle, and we did a rectangle, okay? Now, one assignment I want you to do today is to get a piece of paper, or on here, on your whiteboard, use these shapes to draw me any kind of picture you want. You could do more than one, like if you wanna have four triangles in it, that's fine if you wanna have three rectangles, if you only wanna use one circle, that's fine. But I want you to draw me a picture with, you have to have at least one square, one circle, one triangle, and one rectangle in it, okay? When you finish your shape picture, I want you to take a picture of it and send it to me on Remind so I can see it, okay? That's your first assignment, love bugs, for math today. Your second assignment is in your workbook. So you're gonna turn in your workbook down at the bottom to page 17 that looks like this, and you're gonna practice number stories like we've been, okay? You're gonna think of a number story, show your story with pictures and a number model. So I wanna see a picture of what's happening, 
write me what's happening with words. And then down here is where you would write the numbers that you're adding together and what it equals or the numbers that you're subtracting and what it equals. Depends on your story, right? Some stories we add because we're putting things together and some stories we subtract because we're taking things away. All right, so remember love bugs, first you're gonna draw me a picture using at least one square, circle, rectangle, or triangle. I almost forgot the last one. And then when you're finished with your picture, you're gonna make a number story. Now this you don't have to send me a picture of today. The only thing I want a picture of today is this, but you do have to do page 17, okay? Have fun with it, love bugs, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more math.